The universe is everything. It includes all of space and all the matter and energy that space contains. No matter where or when you exist, you are a part of the universe as is everything you experience. If I continue this way, then there is nothing outside the universe because anything that exists is automatically included in the definition of the universe. But hold on, if it was this simple, we wouldn't have a question if there is really an edge to it. We only know what we can see, and what we can see is almost 14 billion years old. Thrown in the speed of light and the accelerating expansion of the universe, then it's at least 93 billion light years across. Containing billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars and planets, it also contains a lot of empty space, filled with mysterious dark matter and dark energy which fuel the expansion. Our universe is also governed by a set of physical laws and constants that determine how matter and energy behave. What most people would say is an edge of our universe is actually just the furthermost distance where we can see. We call this particle horizon of universe. Anything inside the particle horizon is referred to as the known universe or observable universe. As black holes have event horizon, which is a point beyond where we can never receive information back because light from that point is red shifted into oblivion, also the same applies for the particle horizon. There's a region of this universe from which we can't receive any new signal. Basically, this only tells us that there is an edge to how far we can see. But you've come here to know more, so what is the real edge of the universe? For clearer explanation, let's start with our planet. To figure out that the Earth has an edge and where it is, we need to know its shape. Thus, understanding the shape of the universe might help us figure out where its edge is. The best clues to the shape of the universe are embedded in the cosmic microwave background CMB which is the afterglow of the Big Bang that radiates towards us from every direction. In the same fashion, subscribing now would be a good indication of your interest. Over the past few decades, scientists have repeatedly measured temperature fluctuations in the CMB, essentially performing trigonometry at the largest scale possible, and found almost no curvature at all, meaning that the universe seems to be a three-dimensional sheet of paper. According to this, you could continue infinitely far in any direction and the universe would be just the same, more or less. You'd never come to an edge of this flat universe, you'd only find more and more galaxies. This would make the universe practically infinite. So in this case, there is no point in talking about the edge. However, there is a little catch here. A universe as flat as we see it today would require an extreme fine-tuning of conditions in the past which would be an unbelievable coincidence. Moreover, distant regions of space in opposite directions of the sky are so far apart that, assuming standard Big Bang expansion, they could never have been in causal contact with each other. This is because the light travel time between them exceeds the age of the universe. Yet, the uniformity of the cosmic microwave background temperature tells us that these regions must have been in contact with each other in the past. To counter these problems, the inflation theory was proposed. The inflationary universe theory purports that the universe underwent a short and sudden episode of great expansion right after the Big Bang. This expansion is said to be inflationary, meaning that the universe radius increased by a million, 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 million times, or one with 30 zeros after it in only a tiny fraction of a second. This would mean a much larger, unobservable universe is beyond the particle horizon. Since inflation supposes a burst of exponential expansion in the early universe, it follows that distant regions were actually much closer together prior to inflation than they would have been with only standard Big Bang expansion. This would also explain the flatness as physicists see in our current observable part. To simplify this, we can start with a basketball. If that ball was expanded to the size of Jupiter, it would appear flat to you, even though it is still a sphere on larger scales. Now, imagine increasing the size of that ball to astronomical scales. To you, it would appear to be flat as far as you could see, even though it might have been very curved to start with. Meaning that inflation stretches any initial curvature of the three-dimensional universe to near flatness. 
But what does that have to do with the edge of the universe? Well, under this theory, nothing really changes and the universe should be still observed as flat. The change happened when some scientists proposed that inflation is the natural state of space-time called eternal inflation. This would mean that, due to a random quantum fluctuation, a bubble of low inflation was created, aka our universe. There are different conceptions about what the edge of this bubble might look like. Some see it as a bubble of time as well as space, which we can't leave because the edges of the bubble are the beginning of our universe in time. However, there is also possibility which predicts that once inflation starts, it never stops completely. Instead, it ends in some regions of space, creating bubble universes like ours, while it continues in other regions, creating more bubbles. Not all of those bubbles will have the same properties as our own. They might be spaces where physics behave differently. Some of them might be similar to our universe, but they all exist beyond the realm we can directly observe. So, with this in mind, there is a multiverse beyond the edge of our universe. What would the edge of our universe look like, and what is between each multiverse? The edge here would describe the boundary between different regions of space-time where inflation has either ceased or is ongoing. And as for space between universes, there is indeed space between them. But it is not like the space we know. These bubbles are separated by inflating space that grows faster than light. Often called inflationary sea or simply inflationary space. This space is not empty, but filled with quantum fluctuations and false vacuum energy that can create more bubbles. It is also worth mentioning that eternal inflation is a speculative and highly theoretical idea which needs further observations. So, replying exactly to the question, what is beyond the edge of the universe, is momentarily hard and speculative, as the answer is solely based on the shape of the universe and the initial theory by which it was created. Although today, most physicists would agree, based on observed flatness, that it is infinite without any specific edge. However, if the theory of eternal inflation is right, then we have a whole bunch of other universes beyond. A fairly interesting idea. Perhaps for now, we can stick to our universe and look at the rarest events that actually happen in space. <laughs>